Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on string related interview question series and this is anagram problem. So this is very famous question if you are beginner or maybe 4-5 years of experience then also people may ask you this. So what is anagram? So this is one string and this is another string, right? We have silent and then listen. Anagram meaning you will be given two strings S1 and S2 and you will be asked just check these two strings are anagram meaning the count of s in this string is equal to count of s in this meaning the count of all the characters in this string is equal to the count of this string it can be like maybe a b and c and i have this b c and a yeah they both i mean they are anagram so you should return true in that case if it is a b c d and another string is a b and c then they are not anagram because this d is extra in s1 okay so this is false case so they can ask you this question and as always you have to start from the brute force and think loud and come up with the best approach or nearest best approach what you can think of so the first approach someone can think which is not optimized is we can sort them because if if you get anything you you first think people think is like sorting okay so if they will, if you will sort this and this and then you can have one to one mapping okay and if all are mapping correctly meaning matching correctly then in that case it is equal right and the number of counts are equal but that is like a costly process sorting this and this is like n log n will go here and similarly n log n will go here which is a lot of time so sort is not a good solution second approach you can count the characters of s1 and s2 so you can have a count variable or an array one which will count all the characters so you basically have 26 characters right so you can have an array of 26 for count 1 and another one count 2 similarly 26 characters and this guy will have as ones count and this guy can have as twos count right so basically you have to iterate over this string and whatever this character comes you just increase that character's count that's it that can be done and then you will compare these two arrays so let's see what this is doing like we have one traverse and then another traverse so like i can say n plus n is the complexity for this so that you can fill all those information into the count and then you have to go for these count variables i mean count arrays comparison so this is not looking so bad right because before it was n log n plus n log n now this time it is n plus n and plus some count maybe 26 so this is constant so let's not consider this we'll say n plus n so this is like 2n which is still further n okay so this is looking good but now can we do a little better so the third approach would be slightly better than this we can push this string characters in unordered map so you should know what is unordered map if you don't know you can get that video somewhere here watch that it will be very helpful and this is really very cool data structure so unordered map with the count so we have l one time i one time s one time t one time e one time and n one time so all the characters are like one time so your unordered map is ready you pushed s2 i mean you can push s1 also not a problem then if you put s1 into this then you have to iterate over s2 and then check so let's suppose we have pushed uh, s2 into this okay so i will iterate over s1 and pick each and every character and decrement the count so s yeah s is there i'll decrement the count till zero i is there okay i I will decrement the count till zero. I mean, it will be one minus, right? 
because there can be multiple eyes then you have to count and when you decrement it you will check if it is equal to zero i mean if you will go over this and end up doing all the zeros and then you iterate over this another map and if you see any non-zero value then in that case this is not anagram so this is also one of the solution you can go for so let's quickly see the code for this so this is your function is anagram string one string two and this is very important stuff if a b c is one string a b c d is another string then there is no possibility that this is anagram because the length of these two characters i mean strings are different so first we'll check that itself if that is the case i mean if it is not equal then we'll just return false correct make sense and otherwise we'll go and verify all that what i explained you so for will go from 0 to length of this a so basically i am pushing a's content into the map what i explained you before right we have to push one content one strings content into a map and just keep incrementing the count that's it so this is prepared so if you say a b c is the first string s1 or just say a and b is like a b c again or let me just uh, b c a then a is posed right so map is having a one time b one time and c one time okay after this we'll go for the b's length so now b is also b c a so three length right so from zero to two we'll find that b's zeroth location which is this guy inside our map does it exist if it doesn't exist then we'll just simply say that okay this cannot be anagram okay in else case if it is not present and this is the way to compare that if map dot find is not equal to map dot end then we found it otherwise we did not found it okay so if we found it so in our case we will find it and if we did we'll just decrement whatever the count is with minus one so this will go to zero now and similarly we'll do for i plus one which is going to be one so b of one is c now we'll try to find that we'll get it and then we'll decrement the count and similarly we'll do this for a so all are zero now and then we have completed the for loop we'll come out of this and <coughs> we'll iterate over this map and see if is there any second element meaning if you create an order map or map then we have this key which is this a b c right and these are the values right so this is basically key and these are the values and if you iterate over map like this then items dot second would hold value part and items dot first would hold key part right and you want to check if any value part is non zero if that is found you will return false otherwise in the end you are going to return true that's it so now my question is whether this part is actually needed or not can you just not have this this portion this uh, loop and just simply write return true after this loop will it still work let me know in the comment section okay so i mean is there any corner case which can be caught with this or this is a useless code so with that thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see in the next videos